He also came to the defense of his former teammate Scottie Pippen and the way Scottie was portrayed in the documentary. Here's what he said. I have never seen, uh, quote unquote, a number two guy uh, decorated as, as Scottie Pippen uh, portrayed so badly. I, I have never seen this in all of my life. Why was that 1.6 or 7 seconds in the documentary, so-called documentary, uh, about Pip? I mean, MJ wasn't even on the team. Why was that in there? Pip know that he, he was wrong for doing it. But yet and still, uh, we went after the game, and then we handled it. It was over. Why bring that up? That's my question to everybody out there who's listening. I did have many people make comments to me, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Jay, over the last five or six weeks, uh, that they were surprised at the way Scottie Pippen was portrayed in this. What is your reaction to it? Well, I'll say this. Um, you know, I, I've been on the show. I've talked about it. Michael Jordan was one of my favorite players of all time growing up. Isaiah Thomas was my favorite greenie. Uh, I respect it. But I think once you start digging into sometimes the relationships people have with each other, I, I think it opens the door for a lot of thought. So my thought that I wanted to pose to everybody is this. If Scottie Pippen is considered to be the greatest Robin of all time, and Michael Jordan has alluded to in his Hall of Fame speech, I can never do it without Scottie. It's interesting to me that one of the best sports documentary, maybe if not the greatest that we've ever seen, you do not see the greatest Robin of all time going around promoting it, talking about it, uh, going out doing interviews about it. Um, it's fascinating to me that his teammate, his ride or die teammate, um, doesn't feel the need to say anything and reports from Jackie McMullen that he feels almost ashamed to a degree. That's telling to me about a relationship um, for somebody that was considered to be the guy that helped Michael Jordan do that. You know, when you see other guys that have ride or die guys, it just, it, it's a lot of food for thought and there's a lot to unpack there. And it just, if that's a byproduct of when at all costs, I don't know how I feel about that, Greeny. I don't I'll know how I feel about that. I'll take that. it a step farther. This was Michael Jordan's version, Michael Jordan's telling of the events, and no one ever pretended it was otherwise. And Scottie Pippen was portrayed as badly as he conceivably could have been. They showed you everything Scottie did wrong over the entirety of his career and very little of what he did right, up to and including the fact they showed you the two foul shots he missed in that game against Indiana, but did not show the two free throws Carl Malone missed that led to people saying the mailman doesn't deliver on Sunday in the finals against Jordan's team that contributed strongly towards the end. So, yes, this was Michael Jordan's depiction of Scottie Pippen, and candidly, I don't blame Scottie Pippen for being upset by it. I, I, it if he's put, up, uh, put off by it, I think if I were in his shoes, I'd feel the same way.